If you make RenPy games, you might already be familiar with Itch.io's Butler, which allows you to upload directly from the RenPy SDK and only upload differences between the current build on Itch.io and the new build that you are uploading. But do you know how to use the Steam Pipe GUI for your game on Steam? On the partner.steamgames website, you go to the latest Steamworks SDK, click here to download the zip, and we're going to download the latest SDK, and we're going to put it on the desktop. And I've unpacked the zip file, so we have a folder called SDK. We're going to double click to open, and then we're going to go into Tools, and we're going to open this Steam Pipe GUI zip, and we're going to extract the executable, and we're going to run the executable. So here there's a bunch of blank text inputs. So assuming that you have a game already on Steam, uh, we're going to grab the app ID, which you can get on the Steamworks website. So I'm going to go to All Applications, click on World Without Reason, which is the game that I'm going to be updating on Steam. And this is the app ID. So we're going to copy that, paste it in here, and for this build description, I'm going to say test upload. Next thing, we are going to add a depot. So we're going to go back to Steamworks and find the depot ID. From this page on Steamworks, we're going to click edit Steamworks settings, and we're going to go to Steam Pipe, builds, and over here, we're going to see that the depot ID is 2811961. This is my depot ID. Yours is probably going to be different, perhaps. I'm not entirely sure. And then the build path is going to be the output of your RenPy SDK. So if we go back into the SDK and we hit build for, let's say, Windows, Mac, Linux for markets, it's going to output to a specific directory on my computer. You are going to find the path of that directory and you're going to put it in this build path. And one important thing to note is that when you build distributions from the RenPy SDK, they come in the form of zip files by default, but the Steam Pipe GUI can only accept directories. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click this zip file, and if you have 7-zip installed, we're going to extract here, and it's going to process for a little bit. And then we are going to delete the zip file so that the only thing remaining are the extracted files and folders within that zip file. And now we can copy the directory path to this folder. So for me, that looks like E, RenPy Projects, World Without Reason, 1.3.47 dists. And then we're going to set it live on a non-default branch called test, which uh, you should already have predefined in Steamworks. And the way to do that is in the builds page, you go to create new app branch, and we're going to call it test. I already have it defined on my end, but this is how you would do it. And then you would hit OK, and then it would add whatever you put in this section. So next, we're going to configure Steam. In this field, we're going to search for the content builder directory within the SDK. So we're going to open up the SDK folder, and we're going to go to Tools, Content Builder, and we're going to copy that directory, close out of that window, and then paste here. And then the Steam login is going to be your login, username, and password. Mine is Bamboo Calculator. And the password is, well, you don't need to know that, do you? So now we're going to hit Generate VDFs, and it's going to show, well, let's clear that directory. Generate VDFs, and it's going to show that it auto generated two files. And then we're going to hit Upload, and it's going to bring up a uh, command prompt. And then it's going to ask us for our two-factor authentication code at some point. So you're going to have to log into your Steam app and go to Show Steam Guard Code, and then type in the five-digit code on your Steam Guard panel. Hit Enter, and then it will continue uploading. Oh, hey, it finished. All right, so it looks like it was a success. And now we're going to refresh the page on Steamworks. We're going to see it on Steamworks, test upload, and the current branch is test. And then any player who updates the game on the test branch will get the latest changes. And if you wanted to switch the branch to default, you would click on default, preview change, set build live now with, I don't know, an internal comment. Okay. 
and then it's going to ask you to uh, verify on the Steam uh, mobile authenticator, which I will not do because I don't want test to go live. <laughs> but that was it. If you have any questions on this whole process, please leave a comment, and uh, I'll see you next time.